From a distance, one of the most visible historic landmarks in Copenhagen rises high into the sky. The Friedrichskirche, also known as the Marble Church. Forty-six meters high, the building's impressive cupola is one of the most dominant architectural features in this historic part of Friedrichstaden. In the middle of the 18th century, King Friedrich ordered the construction of this eye-catching landmark in the heart of Copenhagen. Nikolai Eichtved, the architect who designed the Friedrichskirche, was also responsible for some of the secular buildings in this district of the city. Around the dome's massive external balustrade, there are various statues dedicated to a number of important church leaders. From Moses to Martin Luther, a total of 18 highly influential religious leaders have been immortalized here. The sculptures were not included in the original work of architect Nikolai Egved, but were added in subsequent years. If it had been up to King Friedrich V, this remarkable church would have been larger and even more magnificent than it is today. But the construction costs of the church, whose beautiful interior has given it the alternative name of the Marble Church, far exceeded original estimates. Even a king can have money problems. The extremely elegant yet highly expensive marble that had been imported from Norway had left the treasury bare. In 1749, shortly after the foundation stone of the Friedrichskirche had been laid, construction work gradually slowed down. In 1770, a royal minister, Struensi, ordered further construction work to be halted due to the dire financial straits of the Danish crown. However, due to the generosity of a wealthy businessman, construction eventually resumed and the building was completed. At the end of the 19th century, Councillor of State Tietgen, who had founded the first Danish commercial bank of modern times, became the financial backer of the new church. For more than a hundred years, the Friedrichskirche was in disarray, before it was brought back to life again by the Danish architect Ferdinand Meldal.
also a professor at the Academy of Arts, Maeldal was the most important exponent of Danish historicism. His design is exceptionally atmospheric. Maeldal covered a broad spectrum of European architecture. Rather than continue to use the highly expensive Norwegian marble, a much less costly Danish marble was finally used in the construction of the church. In 1894, around 20 years after the former ruins had been bought by Staatsrat Tietke, construction work was finally completed. With a diameter of over 31 meters, the Baroque dome of the marble church is the third largest of its kind in the world. The King Friedrich Church was originally modeled on London's St. Paul's Cathedral and also St. Peter's in Rome. In spite of its beautiful neoclassical appearance and numerous splendid sculptures, the final result turned out to be far smaller than originally hoped for by King Friedrich V. However, as the church and its prominent dome blend so harmoniously with the historical townscape of Copenhagen, its present day dimensions have proven to be ideal for its surroundings. In addition to the various important figures in the history of the church that are located round the dome, at the front of the building there are also 14 statues of famous Danish personages. These range from Ansgar the Saint to the internationally renowned historian Soren Kierkegaard. The marble church unites several important Danish individuals to the central values of Christianity. From the roof, the statues that surround the imposing dome watch over Friedrichstaden. The majestic dome of the Friedrichskirche highlights the architectural importance of this fascinating building as being the largest church of its kind in Scandinavia.